please, car companies, stop. Hey, Fragrance family, I'm David, and I'm a Fragrance Bro, of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Today, I just wanted to make a quick video about my thoughts about these fragrances, and not necessarily these three in particular, though we will go over these, but car companies in general. Why do car companies feel the need to make fragrances, and why are they so bad? That's really my question here. Now, of course, I have three here from Ferrari, Bentley, and Jaguar, and I think objectively, we can say that they make fantastic cars. They're very different cars, they're very different price points points, but they're very good cars. But their fragrances really just suck. <laughs> and I don't know when this trend started because there's a number of car companies and they're all making mediocre fragrances. These aren't the only three companies that are making fragrances like this. Now, truthfully, I have no qualms with a company creating a fragrance line to coincide with their luxury line. There's a number of different lines that use fragrances as just another point of sale that they can create for their clients. And I think that's fine. I think of Dior, Chanel, Lalique, Mont Blanc, Bulgari, they all make fantastic fragrances, but something happened with car companies. Car companies decided to make fragrances that really rival these cheap, bottom of the barrel, gutter, bargain fragrances. Many of their fragrances just smell like other fragrances. Many of these now you can find for like $20 or $30. Car companies like this should be making the best fragrances, not the cheapest fragrances. For instance, these three fragrances I think are fine, and that's really my best compliment for these type of fragrances. They're fine. I haven't smelled any fragrance from a car company that has made me think, wow, this fragrance is amazing. This Bright Neroli by Ferrari, I think this is fine. It smells like Neroli, it smells citrusy, but it doesn't smell any better than 4711. The Silver Lake, for instance, I have a full review of it, and I think it smells pretty good. It smells fine, but it doesn't smell amazing. It smells kind of like a mixture of Aqua Di Gio and CK1. And then this Jaguar, well, this Jaguar is kind of bad. <laughs> so I looked it up on Fragranica just to see if other people were smelling what I'm smelling. And it looks like a lot of people think this smells like Chrome Legend by Azaro. And that makes sense. But overall, I would like a fragrance company that has a car that is this expensive to make a fragrance that matches the car. Make a fragrance that is good or just stop. But I guess the best thing about these fragrances is that they're not expensive now. So if you want to own a piece of Mercedes or Bentley, you can buy something like this for $20 or $30 easily. And you know the best place for that, of course, Fragrance X. With that, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X. Fragrance X is an online reseller that sells thousands of legitimate products for a discounted cost. If you're considering buying a fragrance, definitely check out Fragrance X. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon. But also check out Rakuten.com. Rakuten.com is a website that offers you a rebate with every purchase that you make through their website. They actually have a deal with Fragrance X that offers you a certain percentage in rebates just by buying through Rakuten. So I'll have a link down below to them as well. Definitely check out Fragrance X and Rakuten together. Great. But I'd like to know your thoughts. What do you think of these fragrances? What do you think of car fragrances in general? Let me know down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I love you for it. That's all I have. Thank you for watching. I'm Dave Worth of Fragrance Bros.